Welcome back. We have spent the last couple of minutes getting into the world of a pace setter, an entrepreneur and business magnet, chairman and CEO of Innocent Vehicles Manufacturing Company, Chief Dr. Innocent Chukuman. Of course, he's still in the house with us. Thanks for staying with us. Thank you. So let me ask you, you earlier you talked about skill, that you're doing skill acquisition training yes. for, for, for youths. Eh? Yes. Tell me, about, tell me about this project. Well, why I opened Innocent Kiara Academy is to train people. Because most people that come out of university, sometimes they will stay three, four years at home without doing anything. But there's a lot of work in Nigeria. Now, most of my people to work in, in the automobile industry, we are trained in that uh, Innocent Academy. Mm -hmm. Immediately we pick people from that academy and employ them, they will start the work easy. It will be easy for them. That little two training and giving them can even serve them. Open workshops all mm. over Nigeria. Mm. Even on their own, without, without seeking employment from anybody. They also will employ people. Mm. Mm. Would you say that our society gives more credence to formal education than skill acquisition? And, and, and that's the reason why we have you know, so much unemployment in, in the country. It doesn't mean that somebody that finished university cannot go for training. He can go for training to secure a job. If you use your uh, graduate certificate to um, pursue a job, if you didn't succeed, you go for this training and you succeed. Mm -hmm. Many people, are like, I have some university graduates already on the training. Mm -hmm. Because when they search for a job, if there's no job, they bend down and get the training for nine months. They can go and open workshop on their own. They can go and employ by other company. So that is helping them. And uh, I'm always happy when I see my trainee doing well on the job he's doing anywhere. When I see him and interview him, find out mm. he's happy. It gives him joy. All mm. right, going back to, to the automobile industry in Nigeria, mm. did you entertain any fears when you, know, you wanted to take this you know, quantum leap into the manufacturing of vehicles in mm. Nigeria, considering the fact that we had not seen anything like that in Nigeria and indeed in Africa. If Nigerians give me full support with the idea we have in auto industry, in few years, Nigeria will take over African market in auto industry. Mm. Yes. Mm. If Nigerians give me support, give me full support by patronizing local made, promoting local made, Supporting like um, the, the, we won't have any difficulty in so many things. You find out that in a few years, Nigeria will take over auto industry in Africa. Mm. The Nigerian government has has thrown its weight behind, you know. It, no, it the Nigerian government is trying their best, but not only we don't need only Nigerian government. We still need the normal Nigerians to understand that this is the way to support our economy. Mm. Not only, the, you don't need to leave it for the government. Some of the state governments haven't even aware that there's local made vehicle in Nigeria. Some of the governors, when you tell them, maybe um, the, uh, it has somebody that is selling uh, made in Japan, made in India. Uh -huh. So they would prefer dream with those people. But you say there's something wrong with us as a people, mm. you know, not having confidence in, in things that are locally manufactured in, in, in Nigeria. And that's not peculiar to just cars. You know, we seem to want to wear clothes that come from, 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 from you know, abroad. We want to do everything that comes from abroad. We really do not want to do anything that is it's our own. Would you say that there's something wrong with us as a people? Well, I will say this, that um, I believe that Nigerians, before, doesn't like to use something made in Nigeria. But today, have been changed. Nigeria now are trying to use made in Nigeria in so many things. There's an there's a, um, item I produce in my Enugu factory. Um, those items, when you go to the market, market prefer buy made in Nigeria by Enosin because of the quality is complete. Mm. I produce uh, this um, PVC ceilings that people are using to build their house. 
when they go in the market, buy those ones they import from China. When they use it in their houses, it fails. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they will drop all those ones, come to uh, my factory and buy the right one. Because the quality is okay, mm -hmm. the standard. They go to China and reduce all the quality and bring them inferior. So what do you think is the future of, of the automobile market here in Nigeria and in Africa? The future is for Nigerians to support, promote local made automobile because it is something that will take us up in future. Mm. Today, Jap Toyota Japan is in Japan, but the economy of all the countries is going to them because of that Toyota. That's the major thing that's giving their economy. That's growing their economy. So if we have such thing in Africa and we have it in Nigeria, is it not good? Excellent. So I think it is good for all Nigeria to persist and support local media, mm. which you have. What is the greatest lesson you've learned you know, in trying to do your business? What would you say is the greatest lesson that you've learned along the line? Yes, the greatest lesson I have learned is that I discovered that when you are doing anything, do it well. Mm. If you do it well, it will take you very far. Mm. You see, if you do anything, and make it perfect well, it will take you far. That is the main thing I discover on my business. Because I try to do things well. Because I do it well, it doesn't fail. Mm. People are interested. Mm. So I'm giving everybody advice. When you are doing anything, do it well. Don't allow it to fail. That you will still benefit. You started at a young age, you know, getting yeah. interested in business. Yeah. What is your advice to young people, particularly, you know, in this age where everybody wants the get rich quick mentality, nobody really wants to work. They think that, you know, to do internet fraud and other things is the way to make quick money. What is your advice to young people? My advice to young people over that is this. Let them start in time to develop what you carry them in fusion. Because doing into this Yahoo something, going to uh, Africa, going to South Africa, going to all these um, facing illegal deals, mm, mm. it cannot take you very far. Mm, mm. You understand? It is better to you in your young age to develop something that will lead you when you are old. Mm, mm. Because everybody must go old. Mm. You understand? So I think. I'm advising the young ones to, not, to be, uh, not focused on looking on fast money. Let them look how to build their future, mm -hmm. gradually, and get there. Now, uh, there, there are lots of people outside there who do not have a university education. Some don't even have a secondary school education. And they feel limited. They feel like it's the education that will take them places. What is your advice to this class of people? If they feel that education will take them every, uh, uh, anywhere, let them start work and continue his education. You go, any, mm. no matter your age, you can still go for education. Education is good. Education will help you. But it is not a composite that if you didn't go to school, you cannot survive. Mm. Be straightforward. People will, will be straight. People will work with you. There are some people that didn't go to school, but they still succeed. Education is not all and all. But education will help you to will guide you. Mm. So tell me what the automobile industry of your dream is. Mm. That industry that you dream about every time you sleep and mm. that you want to see one day. Well, what I want is to see my uh, vehicle all over Africa, mm. not only in Nigeria. Mm. My interest is for Africa. Mm. My interest is for Africa. All the Africa use my motor. Like now, Mali people I bought about 400 vehicles from me. Mm. Some other African countries are also applying to buy. Mm. So I believe in near future, my car will be all Africa. There are rumors making the rounds that there are some issues you have you know, with the government. I don't know whether you want to clear the air about these rumors. There are rumors about forgery and, and all that. Do you want to clear the air about this? Oh, good. I don't have any problem with the government. It is a um, guaranteed trust bank. Went into my account and um, debited me about, five, um, about 780 million. When I discover, I took them to court. Mm -hmm. I took them to court. When I discovered, they agree that they took 560 million. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, by uh, lawful charges. 
So they agreed to pay me back with 7%. I say, the time I seek loan from them, they pay, I pay them 22%. They will pay me the same 22 They disagreed. They, I took them to court. And I went to court and defeated them in federal high court. The total uh, money they're supposed to pay me um, um, from federal high court is 4 point something billion. They went to appeal court. The appeal court stayed them to pay the money in appeal court. They went to Supreme Court. Now we're in Supreme Court in that one. The other time, um, I have some containers of CKD, Mosaico CKD. It was sold auction without any reason. I went to court, and the court gave the order for them to pay me my money, two point, uh, two point something billion. Um, I, the customer has money in guarantee trust bank account. So guarantee refused to pay because I get an order, garnish order and absolute order for guarantee to pay me the money. Guarantee refused to pay, went to appeal. Appeal court also give them order to pay. They went to Supreme Court. All the cases in the Supreme Court. So with that, the guarantee is owing me about eight billion. So because of the owe me about eight billion, they went to uh, uh, appeal court, tell the court that they swear after they did, submitted to the court, said that if they pay me my eight billion, they will collapse. Mm. You understand? Mm. Is this taking money, people money, that it makes them to stand? Mm. They said that if they pay me the eight billion, they will collapse. But I don't believe that. Let them pay me my money. Mm. If, they don't, if they don't have the money to pay, let them give me share of their bank. Then I will help them. The bank will not collapse. Mm. So yeah. those are the con that's the controversy. Going yeah, that's on. the thing. So now they lost to Supreme Court. The whole matter is in the Supreme Court. But um, now, when they see if they, they're trying to forge so many things, say I forge this lie. No, go go no government. No go government is not. Um, mm. Um, find me. The whole thing they are saying that government is uh, find me to arrest me that I find is lies. Such things happen. Mm. I'm in the court with them, and the the people that own me. If they know I forge, why can't they bring it in the court? You understand? Uh, I, when they say we forge shipping documents, I tell them they release shipping documents for me and endorse it to me and register in their register. When the uh, when the EFC tell them to bring the register, they say the register get born. How can their register get born? Mm. Their register is there. They don't want to bring it out. Because if they bring it out, they know where they wouldn't be saying that. Mm. Because when they register shipping document, you, they, it is registered in the register. Like the name of the person who picked the document. Everything is in that register. They agree to bring the register, but they find out the whole thing is there. You understand? They say the register was born. Which day do you hear Guaranteed Trust Bank born? I didn't hear any news that the Guaranteed Trust Bank has born. So how can the legislature born? So they know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right, last, let me ask you one thing that yes. you know about yourself. Yes. That a lot of people do not know, but you want to tell them today. Yes. What is that thing that you know about yourself, mm -hmm. but you would like to share with Nigerians? Well, myself, I know that um, I am like to be straightforward. I like to, when you deal with me, I like to tell you the truth. And that's why many people want to deal with me. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. When you are dealing with people, and people will come back tomorrow with you, shows that you are giving them the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we have been speaking with a pay setter, a business magnate, and entrepreneur, Chairman CEO, Innocent Vehicles Manufacturing Company, Chief Doctor Innocent Chukuma OFR. Of course, he's been letting us into the, his world, into the world of automobiles. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Mm. And thank you, viewers, for watching the show. Remember, you can keep up with us by sending your mails to the Sunday interview at tvcnews.tv. We will be waiting to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jacqueline Jadu. Bye for now.